video we are basically going to be looking at how to carry out a subdivision on Milo land. I will also be taking you through those six steps that you have to follow so that you're able to do subdivision on Milo land. Of course, as well in this video, we'll also be looking at the required documents and the fees that are payable. I'll also take you through the definition of what is subdivision and then definitely I'll also uh, create certain scenarios within which subdivision occurs. Hello there, my name is Mutiawa Conrad. I am a lawyer and a private law tutor. And before we start on our class, I encourage you to ensure that you have subscribed and then also turn on the notification so that every time these classes are released, this is brought to your attention. And then also students interested in private law tutorial sessions, whether you are at undergraduate or at the bar, please feel free to contact us. Our numbers are down in the description box. We can be able to tutor you and mentor you and ensure that you excel uh, in your legal career. So let's jump right into how to carry out a subdivision on land. But before we look at how that is carried out, it's very important for you to know what uh, is subdivision. So basically subdivision of land, um, this is the division of land uh, into smaller plots of land. Kindly look at page 1560 of the Black Laws Dictionary, 9th edition by Brian A. Garner, which defines subdivision as such. So normally you will find, the common scenario here is that you'll find that let's say someone has eight acres of land, okay? It has one land title, but they desire now to, uh, let's say, sell off one acre. Okay, they may want to sell it off, they may want to give it out as a gift, whatever reason it is, uh, for you to be able to take off that one acre out of the eight acres, uh, you need to do subdivision. So we are going to look at the procedure that you follow, and there are simply six steps. So le let's jump right into it. The first step here is that uh, the applicant must always have in his or her possession the following documents. And this is the first step. Before you do anything, ensure that you have these three documents in your possession. Document number one is what is known as a duplicate certificate of title. And this duplicate certificate of title is that one of the whole land, okay? For purposes of our example, we said eight acres. So you'll need that duplicate certificate of title of the whole eight acres. Document number two is a field mutation uh, form by the registered owner stamped by a registered surveyor okay so these mutation forms have to be registered have, have to be by the registered owner and they must be stamped by the by a registered surveyor so that is the second uh, document that you you require then the third document are two passport photos of the seller of the land these are also required so you must have these three documents in your possession as the first step then now let's proceed to our second step and basically under the second step the applicant then has to proceed to present the originals and photocopy of the documents to the milo registry so you go to the land registry present our documents there for purposes of authentication and confirmation and of course the documents will be received and a photocopy is stamped received and returned to the applicant by the land registry that is basically the second step let's now proceed to look at the third step now under the third step the applicant checks after five working days to pick those documents which they already handed in under the second step of course the applicant presents the photocopy um, of the documents stamped on received and on collection it will be stamped on returned that is our third step let's now proceed to go to the fourth step and basically under the fourth step on presentation of the approved mutation form from the district surveyor with an area schedule receipts of checking fees a registration of fees as well, the deed plan fees, and the duplicate certificate of title, and of course, the passport photos, and a set of photocop documents, the applicant then submits them to the Milo registry, okay? Then also, the photocopy will be stamped, received, and returned to the applicant. That is under the fourth step. Let's now proceed 
to the fifth step. And under the fifth step, basically what happens is that the applicant is asked to check uh, after 10 to 25 working days. That is the position of the law. So this time will be used by the relevant office to ensure that um, they confirm and, and authenticate all this paperwork. Let's now proceed to the sixth step. Under the sixth step, ladies and gentlemen, the applicant after the 10 to 25 working days, which we basically talked about under step five, uh, will uh, go on to pick the duplicate certificate of title. So after those days, any time in between there are 10 to 25 days, you can always pass by the registry or the land office to ensure that you're able to pick your duplicate certificate of title. Of course, the applicant uh, then signs for the titles and of course, the photocopy will be stamped returned on completion of the whole signing process. So finally, your uh, duplicate certificate of title would uh, be given. So if it was eight acres, for example, then you would definitely get your duplicate certificate of title of the one acre piece of land. So those are basically the six steps that you'll have to follow to carry out a subdivision on Milo land. Okay, so let's now proceed to look at uh, what are the required documents. What are those documents that you need in this whole process? Of course, most of these documents we have really talked about in these steps, but just for purposes of emphasizing, the first do document is that you need a duplicate certificate of title. Then number two, you'll need mutation forms. You'll also need passport photos. You'll need deed prints, of course, and general receipts of payment for the fees that we talked and looked at under step four. Let's now finally proceed to look at the fees payable. So what fees will you pay in this whole uh, process? Of course, these are registration fees, which are 10,000 shillings per title that is created. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, those are the processes or those are the steps that you'll have to follow in, in order for you to carry out a subdivision on Milo Land. We have also looked at the required documents and the fees payable. So thank you very much. Again, do not forget, ensure that you subscribe and also turn on the notification so that every time videos are released, this is brought to your attention. And then contact us in case you need private law tutorial sessions would we'll really be able to help you. And our numbers are down in the description box. Thank you very much. I will meet once again in another class. Bye-bye.